Hey, what's good, everybody? This your boy, 312 Chicago, coming back to you with another review. About a month ago, I did a review of my Springfield XD and my uh, Canon 55, but I uh, brought this host for my Springfield XD Mod 240. As you see, this Black Hawk Envoy, left hand. Yes, I shoot. I'm shooting my my dominant hand is right, but I'm wanting to shoot my left. Feel more comfortable and secure holding my weapon with my left. So that's what I'm going for. Um, see, so I come off Amazon, pay about forty eight bucks. Designed to fill more than one hundred and fifty handguns with accessory rail. Yeah, so your gun must have a uh, accessory rail. Period. Use this holster. It's my duty holster. The one I currently have is only for my Canik 55. So. This is what you get inside. The hold holster itself, the paddle mount, belt loop mount, two attachment device, which they attach onto your... Uh, your weapon i'll show you that in a minute and two thumb pads just the height of it you know so i'll show you that and this is it this is the thumb pad right there you got something that go a little higher once you put them on attach them on press that down to release you know release your weapon Let's show you all the features you know let y'all read that take your time So let's get to it. Let me uh go ahead and unbox this baby to see what it looks like, what we get out with it. Oh yeah, I also ordered this too. Black Hawk double stack mad case, matte finish. Pop that open, but my review is mainly for this. You know. I'll pop this up for y'all if y'all wanna see, check it out. So let me uh unbox this baby. Here we go. Unboxing the Black Hawk Envoy. That's what you get. Get the holster. Bam. I love to rotate that for y'all so y'all can see. So you know it's like a ten, uh, tension screws or whatever. So. What you see inside. For those y'all want to see every aspect of the holster, I said so this to y'all release. Okay, got your paddle. You know, this is your belt loop. Okay, you know, you got your instruction manual and stuff. Uh, I'll wrap these goodies. Just pull, uh, this for your, uh, your belt. Belt, uh, loop right here. These, uh, just to your belts, uh, your belt width, you know what I'm saying? Some, you got some skinny belts like that. You got some that stick, like duty belts. So it just to, uh, to your belt. It's pretty cool. Screws. Use your other pad, thumb pads. You see, as I said, they got different sizes, different height to your liking. You know, the screws to screw on your holster with your paddle or whichever one you want to use. Screw them in just to, you know, the paddle, have you your liking. These are more like, oh no, these are the attachments, the real attachments. These have onto your weapon. And I'll show you that in a bit. Alright, let's see, let's check it out. We definitely do need a Phillip screwdriver. Let's see what we're going to start off here first. Let's get this baby attached. We're going to put the test the belt loop because this is what I'm going to use to uh, attach to my Canon 55. Alright, let's see what we're going to start off with. Let's get this baby attached. Let's put the test the belt loop because this is what I'm going to use to attach to my Duty belt. Take that, take the poster, get the screws that come with it. It's like three of them. See, I'm going to 
Let me turn this thing back and let's see. Okay, on the back of them, you see it's three holes right here. Three holes, I'm not sure if I can see that. Let's see if I can show that. Bam. Three holes. What you do is take your, your paddle, bam. And you try to line the holes up, you know, you can adjust it like that. So you find which one you you know comfortable with. I'm gonna go straight, you know, kind of straight up and down. Sometimes I like my weapon at a tilt, but since this is my first time carrying on my left, I'm gonna just go straight up and down, and then I'm adjust it once I put it on my duty belt and stuff like that. And I take pictures and show y'all and post them up. See, just that simple and easy. Yeah. You can just put in one screw, you ain't got to tighten all the way, and you can just find which hole you want to be, com you know, you're comfortable with. Once you, you know, put the other ones in. Now, same go for the powder hose. Oops, my bad. Same way. Just put it on there, bam. Put it right on your belt. I prefer these when you go to the range and uh, put it on your regular belt. This is like good, you know, for your regular belt or duty belt, you know. I prefer this for the range. Anybody can just really finagle and wiggle this off, maybe possibly, and notch it off your belt. This half happened. I, I trust me. I know it happens before. I'm sure it happened to someone else. Oh shit! Make sure y'all line it up. I mean, you can tell it comes with a. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. Don't have to be all tight. As long as it's a little, you know, it's on there. You know it's in there, so. Black Hall has been popular in the host of game. Bam, that's how I look. Okay, perfect. Now, as far as your weapon. Accessory rail. See that? No. There you go. Accessory rail. Right there. Bam. That's your accessory rail. Okay. Clear. Okay. Now, take the bag with your accessory wheel attachment. Let me see. No, they all the same. It's not like it's different sizes, I believe, you know. So, Let's see here. Pretty much put these bad boys together. And it's supposed to, hold on just a second. There we go. And it should be a way to, boom. So you pretty much put it on your weapon of choice. You take the other half and it's supposed to go on like that, see? You take the screws that's in it, boom. So let me go ahead and screw them in. They're real small screws, so be careful. Don't lose them. You don't want to lose them. Who wants to go through the trouble of got to go to a hardware store or going through the company to even, you know, order screws or, you know, so just be careful. If you do drop it, pay attention to where it drops at. Yeah, All right, that's how it's supposed to look on your weapon. See, the attachment rail. You get a couple of them inside the packaging with screws, and the other side that attaches onto it. See, it's an arrow on the inside. Put it towards the front. This is like the little stop rail, putting in the grooves of your rail. 
Screw them on. Show you how to look inside the weapon. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Holster. Safety, wow. and that's supposed to slide out. Oh, I forgot to see, gotta do it with my left hand. Now I gotta get used to that. See, better, bam, wow. There we go. That's how I look. the pads you can easily just same thing you got screw I think it, yeah got screws on the inside just put the pad on top of it and take it out I'll show you guys yeah it comes with two screws yeah, there's no pad on it that's just the regular base you got two sizes. See? Two different sizes. One low profile, one high pro, you know, high profile. That's the levels you're gonna get. That's the base. Touch it on. And you just put your screws in. Let me see what the other one look like. Higher profile. Bam. This is my review of the Black Hawk Envoy. And I think these are like retentioners. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think these. Yep, I think these are retentioners. Screws on the back. So you don't play around with the holster. Great feel. This 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 piece right here feel like it got a rubbery. It's kind of like a rubber feel. It feels great. It feels nice. Real nice. So you know, this is my review of the Black Hawk Envoy. Show it again. I'm gonna show that one more time. There we go. Post in. Ah, like that. Release. Not going nowhere. Again, must have a rail, accessory rail, to use this holster. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.